When you do this experiment, please keep in mind that the air blowers are expensive and you, you should not have them on longer than 10 minutes. If you've had them on for 10 minutes, turn them off and give them a rest for a little bit. Organize your table. Have one person do the timer. Have another person do the release. And if you have a third person, have the third person write down numbers. If you have a fourth person, they can begin the calculations with their calculator. You're going to take three times at each position. When you take three time values, you're going to average those, but you're going to write all three down. And it's very important, it's very important that you record the final position um, in your data table. It's a handwritten data table. We'll work with the, um, the computer spreadsheet in a couple weeks. We do want you to do this by hand. The final position, record the height of the block. This is in meters. The distance between the supports is the distance from the single leg all the way back to the um, to the double leg. It's, it's essentially one meter. Then you're going to calculate sine of theta as the ratio of those two. You're going to record your start positions here. You're going to calculate your distance way over here. The displacement should not be written down as a measurement. It's not. It's a calculation. These are the measurements. And this is a measurement. 